Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back again today to do some more uh, journal pocket tags and I just thought I would use some of these bases that I got from Touk and that we could do these together. Um, and instead of using washi this time, I'm using, I don't know why I thought that was too, I'm going to just use some digital images that I have available to me. So I've got four of these here. I've got some uh, digitals. This is uh, Rachel's, this is her Christmas backgrounds. Uh, and this, these are from Ginger Journals. So we should be able to easily get some tags out of those. Uh, and um, yeah, see how it goes. So we could get this young fellow on there. Um, so these will be very simple in terms of decorating the front and then we can kind of embellish more as we go along if we want to. So I'm going to just use my art and litter glue and put that all along here. Because this is going to be a bit of a pocket as well, I guess I didn't have to go all the way down, did I? Oh well, you do not have to go all the way down because we're going to be folding that up. But that's okay, it's all good. Um, I'm just going to try and center this a little bit over that image of the little boy and go like this. So yeah, this, uh, this is a tag base. Uh, I think these are in Tuke's. She did have them in her Etsy. I did not check before the video. Um, but she has a bunch of things that she puts in kind of like a just an ephemera, ephemera pack and um, this was in one of the packs that she had sent to me so this makes it kind of uh, a fun reveal, reveal as well when you've oh that looks good that worked, turned out really nicely and then it could just stay as a big old tag we could fold it up like that. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here. I'm going to try something. What if we tried instead like a little corner tuck? Would that look silly? I think it would look silly. I'm changing my mind on that one. But I think I'm going to keep this the size of a tag and then I'm going to put something here at the bottom. Because if I fold it up, then I lose too much real estate and it encroaches in on this fellow. So let's leave that as is. We'll do a couple more. Um, we want to have her at the top of the tag, for sure. So you just use whatever digitals you have it on hand. Um, and these are from Ginger Journals, these images. And like I said, I'm only going to go, I'm not doing the whole the thing this time. And hope we're not, because she's so close to the top, I feel like we're not going to lose too, too much of her uh, if we do it this way. But let's, it's a guessing thing. So this is just a, a craft with me. This is not a, you know, um, tutorial or anything like that. Sometimes I'm not sure what the difference is to you. I mean, if I have a prototype ready and I'm showing you how I made the prototype, I feel like that's probably more of a tutorial. This is just me uh, having fun and goofing around. Okay, oh gosh, it's so pretty. Love these. So I'm just going to fold this up so that I can tear it off because I folded it to where I could feel that it was indeed uh, glued down. Just put a little tiny bit in there. Now I can easily see that's that works out nicely because she's so pretty up there. We can easily turn that up. Okay, so that's that's a, a learning moment. If your image is close to the top and you're going to do a turn, uh, that works out really well. Okay, I'm just going to move these out of the way. I may use one or more. Um, 
Let's see. So we could, another one of these, if we had it at the top like that, then we'll be okay with this one as well. So this looks like it's from a, um, a fabric how-to book. I'm not sure. Oh, the other thing I want to mention too, and I, I will link the video below, um, but uh, Carol at Oak Host Journals is doing a marvelous uh, swap. It's a tag swap, and there's a lot of people participating, and she said she would be happy to have more um, if you'd like, and it's international, and I'm definitely participating. Um, thank you for inviting me, Carol. And I know people like Gail is participating, and um, oh my goodness, Leslie from Willow House Journals, and a lot of really great makers. Uh, so, isn't that pretty? So, we can glue this bit down, or we can. I'm going to cut it off because I think I'm, I'm going to. I don't want the extra thickness because I'm going to fold up over it. That's my thought. So, I'm just going to fold it this much. And that's super pretty in the background. I love that. And then I'll put paper on the back of these when we're done. And, oops, I have that one as well, but I think I'd like to put some of Rachel's, one on one of Rachel's um, papers and go from there. So, yeah, um, so it's Oak Host Journals. Uh, I will link her video below. And what you're, we're doing is that, you know, you choose how many you'd like to swap provide your email to Carol and then um, she will set you up with, through, to the number of people so for example if you said you were going to do two or three she will give you the emails for three people uh, the same number you've been willing to do and then you'll just swap with that person and uh, she has some prompts that you can follow or you don't have to follow them. You can do as you'd like, which is kind of fun as well. And you can choose whether you want international, um, if you're willing to ship internationally or if you would prefer to have someone from your own country. So I think that's terrific. That's really lovely background. So I'm just going to fold this up. Like that. Pardon me. So, I think what we'll do is we'll choose some uh, some paper to put on this bit. I just flip it over like I did with the um, when I did the uh, washi tape video. And so I'm just going to glue on here. You could use uh, washi, or not washi, glue stick for this for sure. I'm trying not to glue over the crease because I think my plan would be to try and avoid the crease just so that um, I don't have to worry about it bulking there and creasing in a way I don't like. So I'll go like that. And cut it out. Yeah, so check it out. I think you would, uh, you might find it a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. And I figure whatever I um, I get will be something that can go in my December daily journal. So I'm looking forward to that. So that looks nice. Put my glue down here. You can hear Midge upstairs. She must have heard something. She has got the keenest hearing. Can I just say? It's pretty amazing what she can hear. 
it's kind of wild. Just had a, an idea whether if I have time, I'm gonna I'm gonna proceed with that idea. Okay, and then this one, I want something a little bit oops, too thin. I think I could do use this. Definitely. Okay. So I'm just going to put my glue just above the crease. So yeah, if you have some digis laying around, these were just extra from when I was making Christmas journals that uh, for just didn't find a home in one of the journals. Uh, so now I can use the paper in this way, which is great. So I'm just going to cut this here. And cut it here. And that looks very pretty as well. I'm just going to put a little line of glue. I'm using art glitter glue for this purpose. Uh, I find it's really good for this the fine work of going in there. I a little bit of a, a gluger, gluber <laughs> um, up there. Now, what else do I have? I could use a bit of this on that. Um, yeah, and that will make it right side up if I do it that way. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue there. So what are you guys up to? Are you working on Christmas ephemera too? I just find it's just great fun to make. I'm actually going to set that so that there's writing in the middle. So, just going to go like this. I probably should have cut that <laughs> so that it didn't meet the crease. I did it backwards, but nothing wrong with that. Like this. Because I can fold it like this, I can actually cut it like that. So I think that looks great as well. And then we're going to do like a little pocket on the front of our little fella the first tag that we started. Our first tag pocket. So, this, this, this. Uh, do I have another piece of paper? Or do I want to use, I'm just looking, I might have some cardstock here in my container that's next to me. Uh, I do. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, we could put that, or we could put that. They're both nice. Um, I like how Christmassy that is. And the other thing I'm thinking, let me just grab, there it is, grab my, my two-inch punch, circle punch. I'm going to put a fairly hefty um, divot there and the reason is I want it to come underneath his feet. So I'm going to move that and center it underneath his feet um, and the glue, let me see, like that. So I know to cut it here. And cut it here. Because if you noticed before, if I had glued it up, it would have um, really cut him in half. So, there we go. Nice. So the divot doesn't always have to be in the center, and I just think that looks really cute. 
and just like that. Okay, so if we were going to use these in a book and not worry about um, them being tags, then you don't have to do the back. And actually, they're firm enough. I think I'm going to use these not as tags, but as actual um, spots to, uh, as tuck spots. So that worked out really well. Okay, so we've got these. And then we can decorate them a little bit more if we wanted to. So what have I got? I've got some Christmas washi. Tim Holtz washi. I have, oh, this is lovely. It's a little, that might look cute there. Um, and I need smalls because other than, it would be nice to have something larger here in the back. But the question, I mean, that's, oh, that looks nice actually. Um, that looks really, really, really cute. I don't mind that we're losing the feet and sorry, Sorry, Angel, we're cutting off your feet. Um, where's my glue? There it is. And we'll just glue that in. So I'm, I'm getting, I'm going to get four of these done, I think, in uh, within my half hour filming limit. And so, just to show you that you can do it fairly quickly. the side. Really cute. And those are, those images I think are from Taylor Made Journals. There's that. I have some, these are too big, but they could go in the, they could easily go in the pocket. We made those together. Um, we've got this sort of thing. And that could definitely go on the side and stick up a bit because it's cardstock. So why don't we do that? Why don't we just put our glue below? And stick that on. Great, and it doesn't, it's, there's no glue behind. Terrific, okay. And then we could take something like this that says holiday and set it there. I think that looks really cute. Okay, we've got that. Um, this one, whoops, sorry guys. Do I have, what do I have? that we could use. Yeah, that sort of wreath. But it kind of gets lost. We've got this sort of some holly, which I think is cute. Could put the wreath up there. I like the wreath up there. And Bum, bum, bum. Let me see if there's anything else we we want. I think I'm gonna put the wreath up there. I don't think I used I was thinking about one of the words that I have, but I think I used it in my last video. So I'm just putting some glue on here. Sorry about getting quiet, that happens when I'm concentrating sometimes. So I think that looks really great there. And I think we don't want to put a wreath in there because we've already got one. We'll put Santa down there. And I don't need a word. I think what I'll do is I'll put a bit of washi down here. And let's see. 
think we're this would be nice. And I want to have a yeah, really jaggedy sort of edge there. Let me see. Do I have my I have my glue stick and just running it on my washi. It this is it's good and sticky this washi, but ah, it's good to be safe. I'm sorry. And set that there like that. Just fold it over a little bit. So that's a super cute pocket. So I like that one's done and I think this one is done. Let's work on this guy. I think it would be good to set that down there. And I think I'm going to put a bit of this fun washi tape from also Tim Holtz. And just pull that through. Just kind of put that midway. and then we can sort of have our car on towards that. Yeah, I'm going to just cut that off a bit because I don't want it going over because it's just paper. The other was cardstock, so I was absolutely happy with it going over. on that strip. That's just super cute. Okay, and we'll put, put the sled here because someone playing in a sled. And you know what? We can also add a few words. Why not? Holiday wishes and festive. I love that tape. Like, I could I could, uh, if they had it even wider, I'd, I would buy it. Uh, it'd be nice to have one, and maybe he already makes one, that has, I'm going to put it under, that has words on it um, that is non-Christmas, but I think that looks super cute. And this will be a tuck spot as well in a journal, pocket and tuck spot. That one's super cute, and you could put words on that if you wanted. This one too, and then this one. Definitely going to put this green. Just making sure that pocket was starting to stick. Put that little green tag. And let's just see, do we have something in here? That would be great for the bot. Oh, how about this? Oops. That looks nice. Could set it over here. I think I like it better over there. Where's my glue? Ah, there it is. And we'll put that in on here as well. I apologize, guys. I know my voice gets um, it gets lower as I get doing something. Uh, so I think it's an attempt at focusing. Set that there, and it kind of blends with this as the background, like in a nice way. It gives it kind of a three-dimensional feel. Um, okay, and I want to put something back there. Um, like a stamp. Oh, I have stickers. I have, I have some of these Tim Holtz stickers. Oh, how cute is he? Hmm. 
She's just having a she had she's having a noisy day. Um let's choose one of these. I think I'll put believe on here. I think that would look really nice. I'm going to put it down a little bit lower. And can use more stickers if we want it. But I think that's... Wait, I'm going to put another word on this one. I think that would look good. Let's have Christmas. These are really nice and sticky, so I'm not worried about putting extra glue behind them, but I like the idea of putting Christmas just there. And I'm happy with the others. So that's it guys, that is our, uh, those are our Christmas tags, tag tucks, tag pockets, tag pocket tucks. <laughs> Um, using digital paper. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you're having fun with your Christmas decorating as well. She pull this down so you can see her a little bit more. And that's it. Okay guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!